So when I was an elementary school teacher uh, for 10 years, and prior to that a preschool teacher at the Campus Child Center, I was really immersed in a, a culture where children's play was a big part of childhood, not only outside of school, but inside of school as well. So although there were uh, time for structured academic activities, there was also uh, periodic opportunities throughout the day for children to engage in free play, both indoors and out of doors. So I saw, throughout the 10 years I taught, a marginalization of children's play, and it's sort of, not a, it's, it wasn't, it was getting pushed out of their lives inside of school and outside of school, inside of school for more time for academic learning, and outside of school uh, as their lives became more structured, you know, with uh, different activities, you know, organized sports, music lessons, etc. So, so the it seemed like the times of children, uh, you know, coming home from school and throwing a book pack in the kitchen table, grabbing a snack, running outside, and just getting lost in play, it sort of wasn't happening anymore. So I became interested in societal factors happening in America that were sort of causing teachers at school and parents outside of school to marginalize children's play. So I think it's. It builds on the idea that children today ha have problems accessing free play. So the, the basic idea of play work is that children learn and develop while they're playing. That's been going on for thousands of years, maybe hundreds of thousands of years. Um, but today there's a lot of reasons why children don't have the same access to free play as they did in the past. But the main function of play work would be to create a space that enables children to play freely. It's not an easy job. Uh, it's very, very tempting always for an adult to intervene. So if you're, if you're there to allow, enable children to play freely, they will play freely and they'll do some dangerous things, some very risky things. And uh, part of the skill of the play work is to, is to know when to intervene. So I uh, applied for a Fulbright scholarship for the spring of uh, 2010, I pitched the idea here to the provost at the time and the dean and my department chair. They thought it was exciting, you know? so they endorsed it. So after I got the okay, then I kind of applied for the scholarship, and it was granted, which was nice, and it afforded me the opportunity to spend uh, five months in the United Kingdom with my family, um, studying the field with Fraser. And the three goals of the Fulbright Scholarship: one was to really learn about the field to immerse myself in it for an extended period of time, which I did. The second goal was to build on some of the good work that has already begun in the United States around the field of play work. So there are several pockets of things that are happening. And the third goal, which is what we're talking about today, is to try to get something formal established here. A uh, partnership between Bloomsburg University and Leeds Metropolitan University that will encourage the exchange of students and faculty uh, to study the field of play work, whereas Fraser's, some of Fraser's Playwork students can come here and possibly do some of their field work in Bloomsburg area, setting up play schemes during summer and holiday time. And then our students could also go over and do some of the field work there. And then all, in addition to field work, also you know, taking some courses at the Fraser teaching some courses here. So the thing that surprised me most, or that was most impressive really, was that there, at that time, and the federal government, uh, there was a national policy and provision for play. So they actually have a policy written at the federal level, at the national level, that says you know, play is important in the lives of children. Um, we're going to dedicate time, money, and resources uh, to facilitate children's play. So being that there was a big pocket of money at the federal level, then that was sort of filtered down into the local provisions. So all these local communities were able to come up with these wonderful ideas in terms of uh, not only uh, supplementing some of the adventure playgrounds that were presently there, but also to build new play, play spaces for, for children. Um, so there was a national policy, which was very impressive. And you know, I'm not downplaying the importance of academic excellence, but I think to uh, marginalize the other types of development and play being a big part of that is terribly misguided.